Today on The Family Fudge, I have a highly requested video for you. I'm finally gonna share some adult lunch ideas. Now when I make lunches for my kids, I go all out. I try to make them as fun and colorful as I can. But when I'm making lunches for myself or for my husband, I'm a lot more practical. And a lot of our lunches are actually leftovers. Oh yes, and before we get started, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more adult lunch ideas in the future. Now let's get started. For all of these lunches, I'm going to use these meal prep containers I found on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link them down below if you're curious. For meal number one, I started by slicing a bunch of peppers. I have an orange one, a green one, and a yellow one, and I also sliced up an onion, and I made sure to do these really thin so they would cook super fast. Next, I added these to my baking sheet, which I also lined with aluminum foil to make it easier to clean up. Oh yes, I'm also gonna be adding in some pre-cooked Italian sausage as well. I'm using the pre-cooked kind because it's super easy and a lot less greasy, but you definitely could use the raw stuff if you prefer. And then I just pop this into the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes. Once this was cooled down, I added it to my containers and moved on to the side dishes, which in this case was gonna be a bunch of roasted garlic broccoli. To the broccoli, I added a little bit of coconut oil, some salt and pepper, and then got it under the broiler for about five to 10 minutes until it was really nice and toasty. To keep things simple, I doubled up on the broccoli. To go along with that, I also sliced up a bunch of watermelon. I ended up really liking these containers. I just had to put the lid on and then they stacked so nicely in my fridge and it was nice not having to cook lunch every day. For lunch number two, I wanted to have a nice big salad. So I filled the larger compartment with chopped up romaine. I also added some slices of cucumber. And then the star of the show is the chicken pineapple sausage. I get these from Costco and they are super yummy. So I just slice these up and add them to the container. For the salad, I went ahead and kept the cheese and the croutons separate so that we could add them right when we wanted to eat them. To go along with this, I also added a little baggie of trail mix and one Fuji apple. And you can definitely tell which two are for my husband and which one is mine. Mine has a little bit less meat in it. And of course, I like croutons on my salad. And now on to lunch number three. And the theme of this one is definitely leftovers. And these lunches are actually all gonna be for my husband because I'm not a huge fan of steak. For last night's dinner, he cooked up some New York steak from Costco. He added a little bit of salt and pepper and kept it pretty simple. So we have a little piece of that in the back corner. Next to that, I added some grilled onions that also were yummy with last night's dinner. Also with this, I added some sweet potato, some steamed broccoli, some blueberries, and an apple. I don't usually include a special drink for my husband's lunches. He likes to have his water in this cup from Costco. It keeps it nice and cold. But if I was having a drink with lunch, I would prefer a Coke Zero with vanilla. I know it's not very good for me, but it happens to be my favorite. We don't always do this, but sometimes we cook a little bit extra just so that we have lunches for the next couple of days. In the back corner, I've added about half of a pork chop, but on top, I have a really fancy sauce. It's a mixture of cream cheese, sour cream, garlic, and chives. So even if my pork turned out a little bit dry, this sauce will definitely still make it taste good. Next to that, I have some grilled zucchini. I also added a little piece of corn, some tomato salsa, some carrot chips, and to snack on, a bag of blueberries. And there you have it, four adult style lunches. Now I have to be honest with you guys, I was tempted to add some cute pics and a cute napkin, but since these were mostly for my husband, I didn't do that. But I do thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.